Installation of centrifugal pumps. The following guide is only referential and general. Be sure to read and understand the owner's manual completely before assembling and installing your Sehi Halberg pump. If you have any doubts, please contact the factory at the following email address service at sehi.com.co. Planning the installation. Before installing the pump, make sure to count on a solid, flat, leveled out and robust foundation to ensure a vibration-free operation of the motor pump set. Provide enough space around the base for proper ventilation of the engine and to comfortably perform inspection and maintenance works. If possible, you should have at least 70 centimeters on each side of the foundation. Likewise, the appropriate structures must be planned to withstand suction and discharge pipes, since these should not be supported on the pump flanges to prevent fractures and misalignments of the motor pump set. Description of the suction piping with pump under suction lift conditions. When the installation is designed to work using the suction lift method, in other words, with the tank from which the liquid is taken below the pump level, the suction pipe must be mounted with a slight slope upward towards the pump to avoid air pocket formation. Additionally, there should be a check valve, also named foot valve, in the tank with an inlet strainer, whose filtering area should be at least three times the pipeline section size. We should also take into account the installation of an eccentric reducer to prevent air pocket formation within the pump suction. The velocity of flow in the suction piping must not be higher than 2 meters per second. Suction pipe description with the pump under flooded suction conditions. When the installation is designed to work using the flooded suction method, meaning with the tank from which the fluid is taken above the pump level, the suction pipe must be mounted at a slight downward angle towards the pump to avoid air pocket formation. Remember that the pipe nominal diameters must be at least equal to the nominal diameters of the pump flanges and the velocity of flow in this type of installation must not exceed 2.5 meters per second. Suction line accessories with pump under flooded suction conditions. Additionally, you must have the following accessories. Shutoff valve. While the pump is in operation, it must remain open at 100% and will only be closed for maintenance work. Y filter. When you are certain that the pump liquid has suspended solid abrasive materials, a filter should be installed. Its filtering area should be at least three times the pipe section area where it is installed. Straight run. This pipe must have a length of at least 10 times the diameter of the pump's suction flange and it is used to deliver a straight and uniform flow to the pump inlet. In some other specific cases, it should have a greater length. Eccentric reducer. Whenever the diameter of the suction pipe is greater than the diameter of the pump suction, an eccentric reducer must be provided to avoid air pocket formation. Description of the discharge pipe. The discharge pipe must be placed upright with a continuous section and must have at least the following accessories. Concentric enlarger. To ensure that the discharge losses due to friction are low, it is advisable that the pipe diameter be greater than the pump flange nominal diameter. Concentric enlargers must be used with this purpose. Check valve. 
a valve with soft closing must be installed to prevent water hammering. Regulating and shut-off valve. This valve should be installed to allow the adjustment of the pump at the indicated point of operation. At the beginning of the pumping, it must be completely closed to be opened gradually. Expansion joint. Whenever pumping liquids at high temperatures and when there is certainty of vibrations or piping misalignment, this type of joints shall be installed since they help to absorb movement due to thermal expansion or vibration in the piping, therefore avoiding an additional burden on the pump flanges. Installing of the pump set. Before installing the pump set, check the cleaning of pipelines to avoid foreign elements, such as welding beads, that could pass to the pump and cause damage to it. Remove the coupling guard and rotate the shaft by hand, checking that there is no binding and all parts are free. The protection caps of the suction and discharge flange must be removed only when the pump is ready to be connected to the pipes, preventing any foreign elements from entering. Perform the installing of the pump set by tightening the foundation anchor nuts and connecting the pipes to the pump. Once tighten the pump base to the foundation and the piping to the flanges, the pump set must be realigned to correct any distortion that most likely might have originated during transportation or handling, and this way fix the piping system. Check the correct rotation of the motor according to the pump's sense of rotation, only when the pump is flushed or disassembled from the motor. Addressing these recommendations, you will ensure better pump operation and greater reliability in your process.